Hey, honey. Hey, kitty. Okay. Uh, Hi. So yesterday I filmed a Aldi haul with the intention of adding it into like our day in the life, but that didn't happen. So today I'm going to add the Aldi haul in here. So this will be our once a month grocery haul for November. We are, um, together, not for the shopping part, but this morning it is almost nine o'clock. We have a meeting with our restoration company to go over the final details of all of our contents that were in our home from the fire. So I'm a little bit anxious because there's been, I think we've been told also that contents is the hardest part for companies to manage just because it's so much stuff, like the level of the scope of the project is always really big and complicated. So today we're going to go in and find out kind of the final, what's the word, like outcome of all of our things and what we have to replace and what was saved. So it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of the last hoop we have to jump through to kind of know where we stand with all of our things. So I don't know how long, I wouldn't think this meeting would last more than 30 minutes, would you? I hope not. I have no idea. So we brought two cars. The kids are at home. Today's Halloween, so that's kind of fun. Um, they had a slow morning um, and they have like a history movie that they're gonna watch and then we'll do school once I get back from the grocery store. So I did a Walmart pickup order and an HEB pickup order and I'm gonna run into Sam's Club. I was gonna wait till tomorrow to go to Sam's, but he's interrupting me. You don't like that idea? Uh, no, did you get dog food? I did, I did, I think. So you're gonna do all of those pickups in this I don't one? actually think I added dog food now that you're saying that. In this that. one trip? All by myself. How are you gonna do that? It's like that Whitney Houston song we watched with um, yeah. Evan this morning, I'm Every Woman. I actually don't think That's I got true. dog food. Are we out of dog food? I have a day left. A day. Okay, so I'm going to check it's the end of the month online and see if Sam, I don't have to look. I don't know if I got dog food, but I'm going to make it fit. I've got all this space, y'all. <laughs> it's really the only big things are our insane amount of HEB glass mineral waters that Brian and the girls drink. I do drink some, but yeah, she does. <laughs> Um, and then the dog food and the kitty litter and That's all those things. Things. Yeah. Okay, so here. we're gonna go ahead and head into our meeting, but we will see you on the other side and I will give you an update on what they say. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to see where the lighting is better. I'm now at Sam's Club. The meeting went really, really well. She really eased our concerns and she seemed really knowledgeable and compassionate and competent. And most of our stuff, um, she said probably less than half of our belongings will be brought back into the house. Um, so it's kind of hard to hear. Pretty much most of our furniture, um, you know, all of our toys, all of our books, all that stuff um, is smoke damaged. So it just feels good to kind of know where to go and where to, where to start. I've been working on that inventory as I've shared with y'all and then I had to put it away because it was so annoying and tedious and I hated it so much. It always put me in a bad mood. So I need to pick that back up because we need to start submitting these things to insurance. Um, you know, things like at Black Friday would be a great time to look for some of these things that I'm going to have to replace. The problem then comes, I have nowhere to store it, and we're about a year out from being in our house. So it's this crazy balance of what to do. Anyway, all that to say, I'm here at Sam's. I never do this kind of shopping by myself, which I feel like most women would be like, ooh, I'm by myself, but I actually like to be with them and I like the help. So I'm going in here. I need to buy um, Elizabeth Esme 
and myself a more waterproof jacket. It's now in the 40s and cold. Lizzie and I bought this at Sam's. Um, it's a nice like quilted. It's warm, but it's like cotton. So like when it was raining and misting the other day, we need more like a puffer jacket, you know, where we can, especially living on the farm where we can be outside and stuff. So I'm hoping they have some nice and expensive um, options. Their sales flyer doesn't start till tomorrow. And there's quite a few things that I would have saved, you know, one to $3 here and there. And I weighed, I balanced it, but today's just the day I need to do this. So if I'm out 20 bucks, cause I missed those coupons or sales, I just have to deal with that. So I'm gonna go in here. If it's not crowded, I'll try to show you some things that I see, but um, if not, I'll meet you back here in the car. All the after a doctor's appointment and gotten most of the things that I need from Aldi for the month of November. The only thing that I'm gonna have to run back in to Aldi and get is um, their mum mums, their little rice rusks. They're like little baby crackers, but my Evan eats a box at a time almost, it feels like. So I didn't grab those. I just actually didn't even think about it until I was checking out. And then, um, we will have to go back and get more of his yogurt in probably 10 days. I am gonna try again to mix my pre-made, my homemade yogurt with his and test it and see if we can get him to not know that it's not all these yogurt. Okay, so this is not enough food for us for the whole month, but this is all that I'm buying at Aldi. I'm going to go to Walmart, let's see, Walmart, H-E-B, and Sam's in the next couple of days. So don't panic if you think we're not eating enough of a certain thing because this is just one store first stop. Okay, first up we got some take and bake pizzas. Um, Everett was with me, he picked out a cheese and then I got the cauliflower crust gluten-free pepperoni one. Um, and we also got this extra large sausage and pepperoni. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. The kids can eat this at some point this week. I'll check the date before I, oh, 11.06. Yeah, that's great. Today I think is the 30th. Okay, I got these for Brian and the kids. These are pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies. Those looked really good. And then I've been making a sandwich with Hawaiian rolls. That's really yummy. We just had it. So I'll probably, I will put these in the freezer and we will have that towards the end of the month. Um, it'll actually this, I can make two recipes with this. So I may make some, um, like little slider hamburgers and those sandwiches with that one. And then we ended up getting our cow and I will show you that in a little bit. So we got a quarter of a cow and there was some brisket in there, I think. I haven't actually gone through it all, but I wanted to make some kind of barbecue so we can either do chicken or beef and I'm gonna put these in the freezer. I got some bagels, some of these Harvest ones, this says multi-grain with cranberries and seeds. That looks really yummy. And then just some plain bagels. And then I have celiac disease, so I these go directly in the freezer. I got a whole grain gluten-free bread and a white bread. This is really good for if you wanna make like garlic bread, Texas toast, or um, what's wrong, Juno? My little kitty's talking to me, um, or think of the word yeah it is just good grilled cheese all the things I got this 
sourdough loaf. It looked yummy for them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll either make a plan with it. I'm gonna finish my menu and do my pickup orders tonight. Place those tonight. So this will either go in the freezer or we can eat this this week. And then I went ahead and got two Mrs. Beard's Honey Wheat Bread for them. These will go, one will stay out and one will go in the freezer. Everett was with me and he picked out this peppered beef jerky. My grandson, Danny, loves cookies and loves little snacks. So does his younger brother, Tommy, and I'm going to stay with them in a couple of weeks to take care of them while um, my daughter goes on a work trip. So I'm gonna bring some treats and some fun things for when they call me Ninny, for when Ninny goes and stays there. I got three pounds of Italian mild sausage. I'm gonna put these right into the freezer. And then I needed three pounds of this um, to for the recipe, but they only had two, so I'll just adjust the recipe. I'm gonna make the chicken meatballs that we love. They were like an orange chicken. I got that recipe from a video that Acre Homestead did. I can link that video below, and hopefully I can film when I make that. It's just, I never know what is happening on the day I'm making certain things. Our chickens, we're eating more eggs than I have enough chickens that are actually laying. So I went ahead and got these two, these 24, we can stretch this out. We're getting about one to four eggs a day. So this just helps fill in the gap. Um, I do have a lot of hens that are still too young. So in the coming months, hopefully we'll be at a better stage for eggs obviously after the winter when they take a break from laying for a while. Brian loves the H-E-B white queso. So I saw this and thought, okay, we'll try all these. Um, this will be gone in like a sitting. So we're gonna try this and see what we think. And then two things for sandwich bread. I got the Colby Jack and the mild cheddar. These little fruit pouches are for Evan for sometimes to add to his lunch. Okay, we did that. All the produce I got, I'm gonna get the rest of it at Walmart and Sam's Club. But I got green onions, two things of cilantro, and then they had fresh cranberries in. My daughter Lizzie just asked me, or just said that she was craving, my sister Jennifer has a recipe for a cranberry jalapeno salsa that is really good. And so why do we have to wait all the way till Thanksgiving to have that? So I got two, Two bags of these. These also freeze really well. We lost all of our dried cranberry or frozen cranberries in the fire. Lots of chips, tortilla chips, barbecue, jalapeno, just regular. I saw this. I mean, the girls can try this. This black chai tea. Um, I bought this last month and I think my Elizabeth ate the whole thing. She loved it so much so I went ahead and got another one. Two creamers for me. This should last the whole month. Two ricotta cheeses. These usually last, have a date. Yeah, this doesn't go bad till January. So I'll try to plan a meal that uses up one of these this month and one next month. One milk. I'm gonna get the rest of those um, at a different store. The yogurt for Evan. The Winking Owl red wine in a box is never in stock, so I went ahead and got one of those, two of the spreadable butters. I was teasing Brian and my kids because I bought this. Last week, we opened it, and it literally was gone the next day. So I'm going to have to hide one so that they can space this out throughout the month. So I got them two packages of those. And then we also bought this last week when we bought more of Evan's yogurt, and it was gone in one sitting. So I bought two, it was kind of pricey. It does taste like a fresh salsa. It was over $4 for this small, I think this is what, yeah, 16 ounces, but worth it, very, very good. Two of the pretzel slims, the original and the everything. Two vanilla wafers, some graham crackers, and then Everett picked out two cereals, he got cinnamon, Toast Crunch, this is like the Aldi brand of these, and then the Fruit Loops, the Fruit Rounds. Okay, so I'm making our very first 
meat bird chicken and I found a crock pot recipe. So it said, to talk over Evan, it said to have onion, carrot, and potatoes cut in like one inch pieces at the bottom. And this is a spice mix. It is onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, paprika, salt, pepper, oregano. I also added a little bit of Italian seasoning. So then here's our cute little bird. It said we're supposed to rub um, olive oil over this and then pat it with the seasoning mix. And then I'm gonna put it in on high for four four hours so that has us eating a little bit closer to six tonight but we ate a late lunch so we should be okay okay so i have the bird in here and then i'm gonna put the lid on and we're gonna let it cook i'm gonna check it at four hours and see what the internal temperature is okay i'm back home and i actually only was able to go to sam's and do my heb pickup so in this video, I'm just gonna show you Sam's, H-E-B, and Aldi, and then I'm gonna have to pick up my Walmart order later. So in another video, I will show you Walmart and Target. So if you like grocery hauls, I'm out of breath, sorry. Um, go ahead and subscribe and like this channel, or like this video. So this is the first haul since the fire. It'll be 11 weeks on Thursday. That feels, big enough to be called a once a month grocery haul. So if y'all have missed my huge grocery hauls, I think you'll be, I think you'll like it. So my thinking was, even though I don't have a, any more space than I had before, it is almost winter, the world is crazy. I really don't, I wanted to slowly start to rebuild up a stockpile. I had our silver industrial shelves cleaned from the fire and they have been brought back. So I have some space in our barn to put some non-perishables. So because of budget, I couldn't replenish everything obviously. So the few things that I chose to replace, I'll show you like laundry detergent and things like that. I got one for this month and then one extra. So each month I'll just choose things to get one extra of to slowly build back up a stockpile. Also, we had really been leaning towards more clean ingredients and more, you know, all natural products. And that is great and I still believe in that and that is the goal for us. But we are in this season of hardship. I don't know how, what, how to describe it. And so it's, it's okay right now for us to just get things that are easy and cost effective and lots of sodas, things that just taste good, which help when you're feeling overwhelmed with life. So I'm gonna start with H-E-B and then I'll show you Sam. Okay, sodas. I got a couple of varieties. You can tell this is the H-E-B brand, like a doctor, their brand of Dr. Pepper, root beer, like orange crush, regular soda and two um, Sprites. These will be gone really quickly if we don't make a plan for them. So I'm thinking hopefully, I mean, for sure they'll last a month, but Hopefully we can stretch them if we maybe say, you know, one or two on the weekends as like a treat. This is the only one that Evan drinks and we do use these for bribery for hard days like when we has to get a blood draw or something like that. So that's the soda that we got. This should be in Sam's. Pretend you didn't see that. Okay, so this was not something I planned to buy, but when I went through their weekly ad, I went ahead and got these chips. Um, this is a just two different variety packs of their H-E-B brand. So this has, you know, a bunch of different, different flavors. Um, same thing for this. I have a teenage boy that really could eat this whole box in one sitting. So I'm gonna keep one of these in the barn unopened and try to stretch one of these for most of the month to just kind of you know, pace ourselves. So I didn't get a lot of produce at HEB. I got their Granny Smith apples and this caramel dip. I made a, I lost all my cookbooks in the fire. And so I made an order to Taste of Homes 
monthly magazine subscription. And since I did that, I've been getting emails and there was a recipe. I don't even actually remember exactly what it was, but it called for Granny Smith's apples and that dip. So I went ahead and got those. This will be gone when we open it. It is our very favorite guacamole from them. This is their mild. I really prefer medium, but they were out of stock of medium. So we will eat that by before the week is through. When I make a um, Thai recipe, it called for this seasoning blend. It was like a, um, I don't know what kind of chicken it was, but when I opened this, I thought these would just be good to just add to soups and anything. So I went ahead and got two of those. Another one of those taste at home recipes called for these chopped dates. And we got some caramel syrup. And then um, I'm gonna also place an online Sam's order because some of the stuff was out of stock and I actually just ran out of room in my cart. But they had a three pack that was two NyQuil's and one DayQuil. So I went ahead and got, I'm gonna order that and went ahead and got one more of these because if all of us end up getting the cold or flu, we can go through these pretty quickly. And then I got some of these chicken tenders that are gluten-free for me. Okay, things are falling. These are eight of the pulp-free, I'm not gonna open this, untie this orange juice. These, I was telling the girls when I was making my order, these are like $2.50 a piece. It was actually cheaper here than at Walmart, but it seems, still seems like a lot to me, but still cheaper than buying it in the carton. And then this is Brian's favorite queso, this queso blanco. I bought, um, when you see in my Aldi haul that we'll add here, I, we tried theirs. We tried it last night. It is not as good. So I'm glad we were able to get that. Four of their pizza sauces. That is Sam's. And then their cake mixes, their Duncan Hine cake mixes were on sale for a dollar. So I got two yellow, two devil's food, and two classic white. And then this sweet Vidalia onion. Um, I like Sam's carries one, it's a bigger, but it was a minimum, you purchased two and each had a two pack. And so it was four huge things. And so I thought, I knew I liked it, but I thought that would be more than we could go through probably before the date. So I'm gonna try this one. And then the only other thing at HEB, we got two of these. We only carried in one of these sports drinks. And then we got two, we love their 1877 mineral water. This is a splurge for us. They're about $10 a box. They, they were on coupon. So we got two lime, two regular, two mango, and two grapefruit. So it's it quite a lot. And it, from last month, we still had a couple of boxes unopened. So this is just a treat. And then I think that's it for HEB. Okay, moving on to Sam's. We had two of the 42 pound things of cat litter. We only carried one in. This chicken broth, I usually get the member's mark in the carton, the chicken broth, I did not see it. So I got a six pack of the Swanson. I just cleaned out our tiny pantry and I only had a few Rotels and only one can of corn left. So this really isn't a stockpile. We won't use it all this month, but in theory, I should get, should have gotten two, but I had to kind of pick and choose what I was gonna double up on. Oh, here's an ATV that we missed. I'm gonna make this after speech therapy, before surgery appointments today, Lord willing. So I've got one thing of ziti noodles. We're gonna have ziti and um, Caesar salad tonight for our Halloween dinner. And then I thought this was fun. I've never seen this at Sam's. If y'all live in the South and have a Whataburger, if y'all love that, tell me down in the comments. But they have little spicy ketchup pouches that you can get at the at the um, fast food restaurant. And so this was fun. I got two of those. And then I bought regular ketchup. Aha, here it is. Regular ketchup also. The salsa I showed you in Aldi was really expensive, so it's more for eating with chips. And so I went ahead and got um, this paste. Is It's good, but I'm gonna use that mainly for recipes that call for salsa. And then this on the border is actually really yummy too. So that should be enough salsa to last us probably three months. We eat a ton of salsa. And then I have been getting the 
same organic lemon juice that I got from Azure Standard at Walmart, but it is really expensive. So I went ahead, I've been using this in our tea a lot. This is, you know, lemon concentrate. So I just went ahead and got two of those and I'll show you produce in a second. These granola bars are really inexpensive and my Everett who is tends to be picky on things like this likes them. So I went ahead and got two boxes. I'm gonna put one in the pantry and one in the barn to kind of paste that out too. The salmon was $2 off. It was still $20 for this package. Um, I've made some salmon in the skillet that has been kind of crusty and caramelized on top and it has been really good. So I wanted to get some more of that. Two creamy peanut butters. Sorry about our new setup. It's kind of hard to <laughs> display things and show them appropriately. So before I get up on the table, Sam's always has these um, winter variety packs of Canada Dry that are so, so yummy. So I'm actually going to write on here, do not open until we are on break. So I'll get one this month and one in December if they still have it and we can have those as a treat over the holiday. I don't know why they included the plain because it's just Canada Dry, like just regular ginger ale, but those are, those are fun. So here's the produce. I got green grapes, purple grapes, some spinach, celery, fresh green beans, uh, kiwi, thank you, couldn't think of the word. And then down here I have our romaine lettuce, two things of the strawberries, these strawberries looked really, really good. So I went ahead and got two packs of those. i had been buying just one small, one pound carton at a time and then telling the girls not to eat too many of them because it's one of the only things that Evan eats. So this will allow all of us to eat. Lots of strawberries, some more bell peppers. I still have a few from last month that are still in good shape. So I'm probably gonna cut those and get those in the freezer, sliced up ready for fajitas, and then we'll eat these. Fresh carrots, baby carrots, and Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna go ahead and prep these and get them divided in to the freezer. Hopefully I'm not making y'all sick. I feel like I'm kind of moving all over the place. So um, macaroni and cheese. And I kind of put our meat and bread over here, two bags of the crumbled bacon. So we did just harvest our meat birds. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw in my story that we just ate our first one last night. Um, so we do have a lot of chicken. However, their chicken breast, that it, I didn't take them off of each chicken. We, we froze the chickens whole. So that's something we need to think through in the future. Um, so I just got one pack of these. I'm gonna butterfly these and leave these whole and freeze them for when we need a full chicken breast for a chicken recipe. And then I saw these cheddar jalapeno. I thought these would be good. And I got ham and salami for the kids. Another two pack of pepperonis. And instead of buying the hokey rolls, we're going to have, um, there's a restaurant here that has like a um, sort of like a strip steak recipe, but made with chicken and peppers. And so I'm going to just slice these for those sandwiches and then burrito style tortillas and regular. The kids made some Funfetti for tonight cupcakes. And then I bought these pumpkin cookies. Um, I did not buy any candy. The candy bags were over $22 a bag and I just felt like that was crazy, crazy. So we're just going to go ahead and eat cupcakes and cookies instead. Okay. The cheese is over here. I got mozzarella, a five pound bag of mozzarella string cheese for Evan. I bought this big Tillamook mild cheddar. We're going to try this and just slice it. Some feta cheese. This Parmesan I keep in the freezer and just take it out. It is really, really good on salads. Some almond milk, chocolate syrup. We bought that quarter of a cow that I still have not filmed. Bear with me. I know I keep saying I'll show it to you. I will. And I bought some steak sauce for all of our yummy steaks in there. There's mixed reviews on if steak needs this. I like it. So 10 pounds of sugar, 
two things of this vanilla extract. I know I bought two. I don't know where the other one is. That's probably rolled under the seat. I for certain put two in the car. Okay, we'll, we'll check that out. Come around this way. Okay, some minced garlic, rosemary leaves, almond flour for gluten-free cooking, croutons for salads. Okay, thank you, Sam's, for making a bigger, this is a half gallon of heavy cream. It was $8 and change. The other ones usually are four, so that makes sense. I did not buy half and half because I find I just use the heavy cream more. A thing of um, chocolate chips, brown sugar. It is that time of year to be drinking lots of hot chocolate. Um, some butter, sweet cream, unsalted and salted. Two things of granola. Okay, moving on, household. Juno is down here trying to catch a fly by my household things. So I got napkins and this cashmere wood glade refill. Two of the power pack detergents. This is what I was telling you where I'm slowly trying to have a stockpile, especially for winter when weather conditions make, we live about 30 minutes outside of town. So I just like to have things so we're not really running out of things. That's what we've been experiencing since the fire is we'll be down to like our last laundry pod or our last you know, dishwasher soap. So we don't want to be in that situation again. Another OxyClean, same thing here. One of these will go in the house and one in the barn. And then next month, if I just keep buying one more in a few months, I should have my stockpile rebuilt. Again, it's not the fresh or the clean ingredients like I had been moving towards, but this is what is working in this season. Some Lysol. This is amazing for sports clothes and all sorts of clothes you need, you have a harder time cleaning. Some trash bags, rental drop. I usually get the ginormous long one from Sam's, but I don't have a drawer in this kitchen that fits that. I love their holiday paper plates. This has is a 50 count. So we will save these for when we have a dinner that, you know, doesn't do as well on the other type of paper plates that I bought. But in general, we are not really using that many paper goods. And then I don't, I don't have any plans to do any freezer cooking, but I know with the holidays coming up, this will help. We are spending Thanksgiving with my sister. We normally host, but obviously we can't host in our tiny apartment. And so um, I thought maybe I would have to prepare things and bring with me. So I went ahead and got those. Did you find it? No, okay, we'll find it. Okay, good grief. It is one o'clock. I'll do a scan. I have speech therapist coming at 145, so we have to put cold things away. While I do that, the girls are gonna make us a sandwich because we are hungry, and then we have to leave at 220 to go to two different pre-op appointments for my kids. I have two kids having surgeries. It's like feels like the craziest season, craziest day. So thank you so much for watching. Um, probably in my next grocery haul, I will share our totals that we're spending. I don't really know what to think of it because you know we're coming from losing all of our food and all of our things. And so our grocery budget is definitely a little bit more than we normally spend. And then also prices are just so crazy. So thanks for watching. I will chat with y'all down in the comments. We will see y'all soon. Bye.